Welcome back, guys, to episode of the The Wolf Among Us. Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter. We're here in the strip club. Trying to figure out Faith, what's going on. Thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Okay. It's the same note we just saw. Lock's been busted open. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Hmm. Let's look at the cosmetics one more time. Make sure there's nothing that we missed. Oh, nice. We'll look in the compact. Come on. Oh, it's got her name. Okay, so somebody went and rummaged through Faith's things. See if there's anything else we're missing. I don't think so. Okay. Is this girl still back here? Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I'm here now. Yes. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? What do they call you now? Whatever makes them happy. Is this really the Little Mermaid? <laughs> My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. Does the number 207 mean anything to you? I assumed it was a room number. But where? We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. By design. I'm disappointed. I hoped you'd be helpful. Got her! This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips... Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Is she under a spell where she literally can't say anything? Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. Okay. Oh, I, uh... <laughs> Wait here for a second. Nice, she's a big help. Not two oh seven. You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. Smart girl. So she just gave us the information that uh, that we needed. She's not gonna get in trouble herself. That's perfect. 
All around win there, baby. Way to go, the Little Mermaid. Cop just got him some, baby. All right, here we are. Open Arms Motel, or Hotel. That doesn't look like a hotel to me, but who am I to judge? Let's see what's going on in room 207. But let's stop by 204 real quick just to release some stress. You know what I mean? Now nah, I'm saying. The Open Arms Hotel in Bronx. Late evening. Man, this place does not look very, uh, very welcoming. They should probably repair that. If the rooms are anything like the lobby, they should cut their rates. <laughs> Want it by the hour or for the whole night? <gasps> what the fuck? I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So, now you know. I know I should have told somebody. But Beast would lose his mind if you knew. Beast is a proud man, Bigby. He wants to do right by me, and he, he just couldn't handle it if he knew I had to do this so we don't get evicted. Okay, well, she's just trying to be supportive of their relationship. Let's not make a big thing of it. Thanks, Bigby. I don't see the and problem. Thanks for covering for me last time, too. So, what are you doing here? I'm about to get me some. Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie, Lily. She, uh, come around here ever? Oh, oh, yes, the, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but she came off a tad intimidating. Um. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a job? Sometimes, but nobody I've recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Ever meet a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. Um I think that's all uh all I need. Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see. Beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Bounce chicka wow wow! <laughs> She's taking me up to the room, guys! Mr. Bigby is way too smooth. Hopefully Beast doesn't come out of nowhere and somehow find us here together. Oh my god, because we've we've told him that we don't know where she is, and then he finds us at a whorehouse Listen, with his wife. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. That'd be Which awful. Fine. It's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Of course not. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just... Don't worry about it. The less I have to write down, the better. Do you hear the people Thanks. moaning in the background? I appreciate it. Well, here we In the we bed are. springs? Which one was it? The one at the end of the hallway.
Let's listen to it first. It was 207, right? Or am I going crazy? You have keys to these rooms? I thought you had a key. Not to this one. Hold on, Bigby. I can't just let you go into any room you want. Seriously, what if someone found out? I could get into a lot of trouble. I could just break in the door if you prefer. No, don't. I'll help you. Just don't break anything. <laughs> Thanks, beauty. I've had your back. I need you to have mine here. Well, that's weird. This key is supposed to open every room in the building, but it's not working. Beauty! Ah, shit. Beast? What the Beast? fuck? How could you do this to me? No, sweetie, no. Wait a minute. How could you do this? We've been together through everything. I took care of you. I love- It's not what you think. Please. You're cheating on me? With him? No, no, be. <laughs> I promise I'm not. We I'm totally happy. called this. That's all. I'll bet. I'm sure Holy you shit. Just great. I know what this place is. This is a murder investigation. She's helping me. Stop lying to me. What the fuck is wrong with you? She's my wife. Beast, listen to me. There's nothing going on. I'm not. <laughs> Hey, Holy master. shit. I guess I finally see you for who you are. Stop. Stop it. You told me you hadn't seen her, you fucking liar. Listen to your wife. Just calm down and... Beast. Yep. It's on, bitches. Here we go. Get him again, baby. Leave him be. This is my fault. I can't leave him be because he's not gonna leave me alone. He's gonna freaking kill me. Oh shit. Oh wow. Come on. Wow. I wish we didn't have to do this. Oh, Jesus. Alright, well now we're gonna have to do it till he's, uh, he's knocked out or dead. One of the two. You ruined everything! She's my fu- Well, at least we got the door open. Oh shit. Shit, Bigby. What have you done? What what is this? Now he's gonna see it's actually a murder the scene. Door. You can't just act like this whenever Stand you Stand back. You you don't wanna see There's this. There's the flower that she had in her hand. Well, we got the door open. <gasps> oh my god. Don't touch anything. Is this? Lily met her client here, Mr. Smith, whoever he is. And then? Must have happened right here. Jesus. Last night? Yeah. I was on shift last night. On shift? Beauty, what? I'm not a prostitute, you idiot. I work the front desk. I... <laughs> so that's... Yeah. Still, this is no place for someone like you. I mean, look. Do you remember who rented this room last night? I don't think anyone did. Not last night. Maybe they have it long term. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? Because you're the damn secretary. Like a totally normal night. How is that even possible? There's so much blood. Go lock the front door. Keep people out of the hallway. I need you to be sure no one comes in here. This is a crime scene, okay? But just do what he says. I'll explain later. 